Hi guys, uh, welcome to another Jetstream video. Uh, so okay, this is a Jetstream, um, Jetstream level application with Jetstream, but this time this is uh, with the view stack, like initial stack. So we'll go ahead and check our login and we have the register route. So in this video, we'll check it uh, how we can change this logo um, in inertia stack. So for that, actually, we, so we need to go to resources, resources, yes, and we can see like all our pages are here. And for authentication, all the pages are authentication related pages are in pages uh, and authentication subdirectory. Here we can see in the login page, we have a template, a logo template in the jet authentication card where we are actually adding the jet authentication card logo. So if you want to see the JIT authentication card, you can just go to JIT stream and we can check the JIT authentication card. Here we have a slot name logo where we are pushing our logo here. So to look at this logo, we can just actually go to authentication card logo here. So this is the logo that is being used. So we can just replace this guy here, this SVG and images. I have an images in public directory for the JPEG and we can put the style is maybe 128 pixels. Sorry. Width. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and refresh it and nothing here. So the reason is like uh, now this time we are having in our assets in view and assets are not compiled again. So let's go ahead and run npm run dev. Okay. So our assets are compiled. So it will render the new logo once we refresh. Okay, cool. So assets are refreshed. Let's go ahead and refresh this guy now. Okay, it is still not working. Let's go ahead and check what is the problem here. Okay, it seems like it is still loading the old uh, view here. And the reason is, I guess, uh, the, the JS file is not uh, rendered properly. I refresh properly again. So for that, let's go ahead and the resources views and add leader php and here actually we can put rent so it is it is refreshed every time uh, we refresh the page so same we will do for here in the js folder so let's go ahead and refresh it again so it refreshed the javascript and css editor, and now we can see our logo here so yeah uh, let's go ahead and log in and check on the register route as well cool so it appears here as well so now let's go ahead and log in and check where, how we can actually uh, change the logo here so for that actually let's go to dashboard view so in the dashboard view uh, we can see like there is an app layout here so in the app layout let's check for the application mark so yeah this is the application mark let's go to the jet application mark this all uh, anything that is actually starting with jet actually you will find it in jet stream here and here we can check for application mark here and we can copy our logo from the application card logo and put it here in the application mark as well and this time we can just make it maybe 32 pixel and we need to run npm dub again Okay, let's go ahead and refresh this and see. Okay, cool. So you see the new logo here. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. This video, will, we looked at how we can change the default stream logos to our own logos. So yeah, if you have any question or comment, let me know. I will try to address them in our next video. Until then, bye-bye. See you. Cheers.